All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and here on YouTube, if you're watching this in the future. We have a donation deck to play here, Esper Super Friends. So this isn't a deck that uh, I have built, but it has a lot of cards that I'm pretty interested in trying. So donation deck. Um, so it's going to be an exciting one to, to go ahead and try. Um, so yeah, we got two Kayas, a card that I am very skeptical on, um, but we'll, we'll kind of see. Um, and uh, we got two Dovins as well, and then we got a couple of Karns, a couple of Teferi, so lots of Planeswalkers. So we're playing a Super Friends deck with that. Uh, we got a lot of one ofs that are just kind of around. We have um, Nexus of Fate, Emergency Shrine, or sorry, Emergency Powers. Um, I was gonna say we have we have some steam vents in our in our mana base uh, to play. So we have one captive audience in the sideboard. So that's a pretty interesting one. That's kind of chilling here in our Esper deck. Um, and and there we go. Yeah, I need I need to make a link for the YouTube in the Twitch description. I I don't have it, but uh, you can, you can find the YouTube here. There, that's where the link is right there. Uh, there are three steam vents. There are three steam vents. So we got some cover-ups. Sphinx's Insight's a card I'm not high on at all. Um, but we can gain life with it, I suppose. But but yeah, let's let's kind of try it out. Let's see, you know, let's see what happens. Esper Super Friends. You know, <clears throat> Ugh. why are there devious cover-ups in there? I mean, just to kind of do what it does. It it's a four mana counter spell, so it's an expensive counter spell. But you do get to put some of your cards from your graveyard back into your library. You get to reshuffle them up, um, help you whenever the games go long. All right, so far so good. We got Absorb on turn three. We got a Kaya's Wrath on turn four. Uh oh, we, looks like we're playing the mirror. Looks like we got the mirror. Yeah, and Devious Cover Up is an exile spell, so it, yeah, it does exile. So we're gonna insight on end step. And then if they counter it, we get to go with the planeswalker. Thing is, if they don't counter it, it's kind of bad for us. We're gonna have too many cards. They did not counter it. All right, we have to discard. I think I'm just discarding this emergency powers. I don't think in a control mirror, I don't think I want my opponent to just be able to reshuffle and draw seven. Could certainly discard the wrath as well. But I th hmm. You want powers for later after exiling. Okay, I got you. Okay. We'll discard Wrath then. So they're going to have to go and discard as well now. The Nexus of Fate is a great draw. That's something we can play on on the yeah, like that's just a great draw. We get to play that next turn on their end step. And if they don't counter it, we get the two turns in a row, like where they're where we can kind of jam some threats. And if they do counter it, 
then uh, they probably don't have enough to be able to counter that and also counter Teferi plus with us having Absorb. They certainly could. They'd have to have two more counter spells, though. But, you know, maybe they did have three counters and the mana to play all three. Looks like. Yeah, looks like they did. Main deck negate. Got us. I no time for a break. Yeah, main deck negate is is pretty common these days. It is. Let us begin. Listen all the time. The choices we make reveal who we are. I mean, that was, it was three for three. We traded an Absorb, a Teferi, and an Exa Fate for three counter spells by them. Hmm. All right, it resolved. Right on. Teferi tucked their Teferi. All of the decks, you can see um ah exclamation point decks. You there you go. Slow down. There's all the decks. Um, the only ones that have been updated with Ravnica Allegiance on my uh, deck list are the ones starting with Naya Value. You know, like the ones from the last two days, basically. Like those are the only ones that have been updated with Ravnica Allegiance cards. Built. Hmm. Really wanted to have one of the planeswalkers in play whenever I untapped. Ah. Uh. And there I was hoping to hit a land drop, so I cast that main phase because I wanted to play a land drop to be able to have chemistry's inside up. But instead we just drew Devious Cover up and no land. Okay, okay. Emergency into Nexus? That doesn't work. Emergency into Nexus doesn't work. I did not play the Teferi because I was holding up the two counter spells there. It's not only permanent, but don't you you do the first part anyway, so you get a brand new hand. So you Right? Like you you draw seven cards and then you put the seven drop. So you don't even know what you're gonna have there. Um all right, so hopefully we draw a land here. If we draw a land, we get to Nexus on end step. Let's draw a land. Hold that thought. Ugh, no land. I'm just gonna cycle this. Okay. Opponent probably just had, you know, just a bunch of removal spells in their hand. 
Alright, so we're going to have duresses, negates, thought erasures, uh, this random captive audience. That seems like a good card. Kaya's Wrath, Cleansing Nova. Um, do we need... I mean, Emergency Powers does put Captive Audience into play. That is pretty cool. We can cut Kaya. Exile up to two cards, you gain two life. Exile... Yeah, it doesn't do anything, right? What's the ultimate? Deals damage to target player equal to the number of cards that player owns in exile. And you gain that much life? Yeah, okay. Cut, cut, cut Kaya. Gotcha. Um... So this is 64. Let's cut that. Cut Sphinx. Oh, like Sphinx's Insight? We're gonna get rid of the Eldritch Borns because they're expensive in sorcery speed. I want to just kind of trim on expensive sorcery speed stuff, just kind of in general. And um, and then one of the Sphinx's insights. Yeah, we could certainly just not play these revitalizes, right? Because um, like three life doesn't matter, so it's just two mana. Cycle. So we could just not have the cyclers in our deck. Ugh. Alright. Let's go. Thought Erasure. They have a Thought Erasure plus two Contempts. We'll take their Thought Erasure. Oh, Search for Scanta is great. Because even if they Contempt Dovin, Dovin will like make a 1 1. They'll stick around and hit him a bunch. But we drew Search for Scanta, which is amazing. So we're going to play that. Would you rather have Kaya than Dovin? I don't know. Dovin's just a really slow Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls is good. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. Yeah. Trade with a contempt. I stand so on another the planeswalker later giants. doesn't. And we get this 1-1. One, one. Of course, hoping they did not draw to fairy in these three draws. Good, they did not. Um, I think I need to keep that. Just in case. Alright, 21 more turns. We got this. If all of our turn, if all of our cards traded with one of theirs, one for one, and gave us a one-one, we'd be in a really good spot. Wow, those those were three really good cards. Certainly very good. Okay. So that gets absorbed. Teferi resolves. They, they do get contempted on their turn, but, you know, we get to draw a card. 
certainly worth it. And they kind of have to, they'll let tap low for this contempt. Wow. Wow. Oh. That's fine. Graveyard. Another turn. Our clock's just getting faster. All right, Thopter, you got 23 turns still. They did a little bit of life gain. Maybe we can find another dove in. Uh, they just want to tap my Ascanta, and I do not want my Ascanta tapped. Longer stand by and watch. All right, we'll get duress, thought erasure, revitalize, revitalize. Hurry! Don't even know if those are like cards we necessarily want to draw. They probably are. Alright, that's all the contempts. Right? Yeah, that's all four contempts. This clock is getting real fast. Yeah, I'm gonna down tick with Karn. Well, I have faced worse than the likes of you. No, nah, I'm not down ticking with Karn. Good choice. The cards are better. Now we can make a two-two there. Um, unclear if the opponent has a win con other than Teferi. What is clear, they've used every single Vrass's Contempt, and then that Karn is going to be able to go get the Teferi. Yeah, the clock was really fast already. We had, you know, 22 more turns, they were dead, so. All right, 1-0 with Esper Super Friends. Let's keep it going. Delvin was sweet and made it a Thopter and then got Contempted. That Thopter was very critical to us winning. Yeah, there is no Tezzeret. That is kind of a feels bad. Tezzeret would be sweet. <laughs> well, so far we've only played just another Esper control deck. And, uh... We won a mirror. I, I don't want to just say the deck is strong just because we won a mirror match, you know, like one of the two decks is going to win the, the mirror match and um, we out mirrored the opponent. I want to try playing it against some non mirror matches first. So Grixis control. Hmm. This is probably a good matchup for us game one, because Grixis usually has just a whole lot more removal. In general. 
Okay, go on, You have been penalized and you're doing me a favor. Wanting. I like Dovin. I'm very skeptical of Kaya. I'm not sure this card really does anything. But I like Dovin, though. G Grixis control is facing a lot of a lot of trouble here. Um, in general, in the metagame right now. Um, because there's so many good artifacts and enchantments. Especially, well, just really enchantments. And Grixis cannot answer enchantments. By a good assault. All right, I like that Elisir Born. Elisir Born's really good here. Alright, so Dova did turn on their moment of cravings, but it's still still traded two for one. Clearly, the, the Dova gained us gained us six life between like the, the two life with that, the four life not getting hit by the bolus, and in, we ate two moment of cravings. Not the worst trade at all. We can steal Nickel Bolus and play it with Eldest. Wait. You do not want to transform Nicol Bolas. That's not a good idea. You never want to do that. Um, we're just going to go ahead and tuck there, Elvis Reborn. I'm known for my X reverse. And this is looking really good for us. For Blood Operative. That's kind of annoying. They get to take the, the best card that we could. Whoa. I would say they could take the best card that we could Eldest, but they didn't do that. So I think I just get 4-4. Four, four. So it's either 4-4 four, four, or we go get Dovin and start making 1-1s. One, Actually, maybe it's Dovin. Get Kaya, exile the bolus. No, we'd rather make one ones. One ones are good. I will gladly point I out your benefit from another success. Keep up the pace. All right, so we don't have the untapped land, so I don't get to play Search for Escanta. Also here, we're just gonna go ahead and Nexus. Draw card. You know what? I'm not done yet. Make another one one. I'm inspired by a good assault. This is the sound of Sandalin. It was Kaya's time to shine. I need to get Kaya. We are going to have a lot of 1-1s, one though. Okay, so another control matchup. Let's get these duresses and negates in. The problem is our this kind of opponent's going to have more creatures, so we're going to need to keep more things that deal with creatures in our deck. Um, so Kaya could 
Exile two cards from a single graveyard if we're exiling things for Eldritch Reborn, but we also have Eldritch Reborn. Um, I I could see our I I definitely think our opponent's probably playing at least Thief of Sanity, if not just only Thief of Sanity, could be War Boss as well. So I don't want to just take the Wraths out because of that. Maybe I don't actually play um, Thought Erasure. Thanks, Pascaler. Yeah, there's my YouTube link if you'd like to go sub over on YouTube. Take the Novas out. You think Captive Audience comes in? Yeah, maybe it should. Yeah, Captive Audience seems like a pretty decent card here. Yeah, I could have... I could certainly see playing Captive Audience here. How do you cast Captive Audience? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that didn't have all the lands in there. There's more lands in there. Negate, Disdainful Stroke. Alright, we're taking Negate because that'll, that'll counter Search Rose Kanta immediately. Which Search Rose Kanta is the card that I want the most in my hand. So yeah, I didn't play Captive Audience because I'm worried about... Basically, I was worried about the three mana creatures. I was worried about Thief of Sanity, Legion, War Boss. Captive Audience is not really helping out there. It is good, you know, very late game against uh, Grixis, but I feel like we can win very late game against Grixis without it. I, I don't think it's really necessary. Um, I think that's not... Like, it's not going to help us w win games that we're going to lose, in my opinion. Yeah, opponent's hand was not good. Their hand was not good there. This is the two lander on the play. All right, we're 2-0. Arena's much more fun. We can build a good sideboard. I wish it was easier. Also, thanks, Todd, for your streams. You've taught me a lot in that respect. Oh, you're welcome, Rex. Glad you're learning. Yeah, Search for Escanta is a unbelievably good card. Thanks, Zabaj. All right, so Punt's going down to six cards here. Hand's good at killing creatures. If we get the mana. All right, we're playing against a red deck. I'm not going to shock in here to cast Revitalize. I think I can just wait a turn and Revitalize next turn. That two life could certainly matter. Rectus Aggro. What do we got this turn? Theater of Horrors? Skewer. So this is just counter skewer draw a card. That's pretty good. Let's have like negate plus draw cards. There. I guess I just contempt. Yeah. Save the save the life. If 
Our opponent is willing to just use all those burn spells right at us. The life is certainly going to matter. And so yeah, let's keep saving life. Dovin does let you gain a life also with the with the tick up or with the tick down. Sorry, when you make it the thopter, you get to gain a life. All right. Ragdos Burn can't handle it. A lot of people are conceding very early. I approve. Yeah, Kaya gains life if you exile at least one creature. Alright, so let's get these negates in. The Cry of the Carniums and Ritual of Soots. And Settle the Wreckage. We want cheaper sweepers. Um, so Power is coming out. Eldritch Reborn comes on out. Could see just taking out Cleansing Nova also, honestly. We have a lot of other cheaper sweepers. I don't think... So I, I'm just going to kind of reduce the mana cost there. Um, so we're at 63. Probably Devious cover-up, just 4 mana counterspell in this kind of matchup. Yeah, we're just basically replacing that with Negate. Yeah, I think we want Nexus. I guess I could take out Nexus. I could take out Nexus. Yeah, we can take out Nexus. Um, I don't have an answer for why no Angel of Grace in the 75. This is uh, Mechanical's deck. Uh, this is a donation deck that I'm playing right now. Uh, that's what the DD up here stands for donation deck. So that means that I probably didn't put the cards in the deck. <laughs> yeah, remove Nexus from the game completely. <laughs> yeah. Alright, good hand. Cry, Wrath, Insight, Gain 2. Certainly a good hand. Not gonna lie, the deck's been impressive, you know. Um, we have... Been winning like all of our games kind of easily so far. Aristocrat's deck was sweet. I really liked it a lot. So duress. Okay, yeah. So somebody asked, what about duress or thought erasure to gain three life? Um, those are very, you know, those those are really good early game to gain three life. But the thing is, like these, like with our deck, the game's gonna be going later, and. It's the kind of card that I, I can't. I don't really want to top deck in the late in the late game, because uh, you know we're not killing our opponent quickly or anything. So they're gonna have plenty of time to draw other burn spells. But me just having um, duresses and thought erasures in my deck after my opponent emptied their hands and then I'm drawing those. That's that's a way that we can lose for sure. We need to draw another white source for this Kaya's Wrath. If not, we're casting Insight. There's not really a trick around that, Mobius. Um, we, that happened to us earlier, that bug. If you just time out, it ends your turn, but it also just resolves the Gruesome Menagerie spell automatically for you. At least it did for us. Um, I had selected Gutter Bones and there was a 2 drop on top of my library I selected, but I couldn't choose the 3 drop. With Drill Bit? Ugh. Man, 1 mana Divination and having Thoughtseize and Lightning Bolt. Hmm. 
Opponent is playing a different format. They're playing Theater of Horrors next turn. I guess I need to negate Theater of Horrors. Hey, Ken. Welcome. <laughs> no, I, I hate the art on this drill bit card. It's so gruesome. The flavor text is never boring. <laughs> yeah, so definitely assuming our opponents are casting the Theater of Horrors here, because this is their only turn to be able to cast this with Light at the Stage. So that's that's kind of a good thing about Light at the Stage for from an opponent's perspective, is that we get to basically know what their turn is going to be, and so we can kind of set up our turn appropriately. The list for Mardu you can find here on my stream decker, streamdecker.com slash dex slash Todd Stevens MTG. It's in there. <clears throat> Why do you really, really hate playing against the red decks? Interesting our opponent just played these two cards out when they they just gave us this cry of the Carnarium back. And they know that we get to exile those. I think playing that Midnight Reaper may have been a little bit of a mistake there from our opponent. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. Alright, so we're gonna want let's exile Um I don't know, light up the stage and one creature. <laughs> Because we want, we want at least one creature, so we don't need to exile two creatures at the same time. So we want to exile like a spell and a creature, because they only have they only have one other creature in their deck. Please. Oh wow, Kaya eat, eats double shock. That is great for us. I had guild business to attend to anyway. Kaya did some work. I have to admit it. Gain two life, eat two shocks. If you show, let's skip to the good part. Kaya did it. This one looks very good for for us here. We do have just so many things that say gain life in this deck. Oh yeah, Cry of the Carnarium is much better than Golden Wise. And Golden Wise is already really good. Cry of the Carnarium is a really great card. Hurry! Ooh, Kaya gonna do it again? Mm, glad to be here. Your problems are my profits. <laughs> Gain some Funny. more life. That's what I do. That's what I do. No, you wouldn't. No, you can't really play History Banalia with Grusa Menagerie. It doesn't work out. Um. So yeah, don't have room for it. With that. Want me to phase you out of time? Man, we're almost we're almost back up to twenty. That's it. Aragorn has been defeated, and we are three and zero. We are three and zero. All right. Kaya did something, I guess. Just tick up gate two. Tick up gate two. We do, yeah, we beat the modern deck. Our opponent did draw lots of lands there. They really flooded out. Um, but yeah. The draw two, gain two life was has been just better than I thought. Sphinx's addendum. I've, I've just thought you just want more chemistry's insights there, but the gain two life has been uh, impressive. It seems weird playing that card over Chemistry's Insight.
Kaya's ult deals damage to them, and you gain life equal to the number of cards in their exile. Do you think the Bant Flash deck has enough tools for it to be viable crafting? Um, I haven't seen a Bant Flash deck yet. I would assume if you're Bant Flash, you're playing like Frilled Mystic and Wrath Compassion or something. I haven't seen a Bant Flash deck yet, though. Stomping ground. We're gonna stomp around. Hey, we got a new sub, sub number nine on the day. Let's get some hype in the chat for ZTD. Thank you so much for that sub there. I do appreciate it. Yeah, and the angel, of course. Yep. Definitely want angel in a Bant Flash deck. Alright, the Cleansing Novo is a really great draw step for us. Next turn, I'm probably just going to main phase this Insight and gain two. You just had a seven lander in best of one? Wow. That means you had like two seven landers? Alright, if I... If I cast Insight, no, I will not have to go discard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see the Mardu Aristocrats deck list, you can find it there on my Stream Decker. I just put the link in the chat, streamdecker.com slash deck slash mtg. You're welcome, Insanity. So no lands for the opponent. I'm playing Teferi and Minusing on this Spellbreaker. Sorry, the plan. I'm late. You need to take a time out. Huh. All right, so no time for a break. All right, so we do have the mana just to um, yeah activate null hide and, and contempt it. And let's get search for Scanta in play. Who am I rooting for to make it to the Super Bowl? Definitely the Chiefs. And in the NFC, I think the Saints. I have some friends that are Saints fans. Okay. Now we've had a lot of opponents that just kind of concede early. All right, we want... Settle, not good against, hmm, not good against Spellbreaker, but oh well. Well, their Spellbreaker was on top of their library, it wasn't in their hand. Yeah, our, our opponents are making this deck look real strong. But it, it has been playing better than I expected. Um, I will admit that. It has been. Um, yeah, I think I am just taking out Powers and Kaya again. I don't... Well, I guess th they're going to have the permanents that cost one, actually. All right, I'll we'll take out Eldritch Reborn. Eldritch Reborn is really good against Nullhide, though. What's the win con for our deck? I don't know. Uh, Karn can make tokens, Dovin can make tokens, Deferi ultimates. Uh, 
Would you rather have? Yeah, yeah, it's playing really well. Would would you like? I've been I've been definitely impressed with Insight and Revitalize. Like these two cards, I've been certainly impressed with it, like the gain life. Um, would you rather have Kaya or Eldest Reborn? I'm gonna do one of each. We'll go with the coward's way out, and just have one of both. Um. I don't have I don't have any expectations for anything being banned. Uh, definitely, absolutely nothing in standard at all. Um, but maybe something in modern will happen. Hmm. Move. This is kind of the problem with having steam vents. That guy's being moody. Um, I would be happy if something from KCI got banned. I, I don't think that, that deck improves the quality of life of people. I would be happy if that card would get banned. Or like, just just KCI as the card, I'd be happy if that card got banned. Where's our lands at? There's a land. That's a good, good land as well. We need one more black source for this ritual of set. Cart Clan Ironworks, and it's a it's a deck in in modern um, that takes that could take many minutes to actually win, and doesn't interact with the opponent at all. It's just a combo deck. Come on, Black Source deck, why you do this? Ancient Stirrings is in just tons and tons of different decks. Choice. Banning Ancient Stirrings means you just hurt, like, you know, like you just hurt lots and lots of decks. Um, that's not like trying to hurt KCI. That's trying to hurt basically every colorless deck in Modern, um, which, which is why I'd be more surprised if they banned that. Why is our opponent conceding there, like, at all? What is going on? Our opponents this league are just all conceding. Sure, they didn't they didn't play lands the last two turns. So like they they didn't play a land the previous turn, and I guess that turn they didn't have a land also, so they didn't have a land drop, but that doesn't mean that the game's just over. What is going on today, right? You know, like this is like you know, we're not playing in, like, the free room where people just want to stop playing. Like, we're playing, like, you have to pay a thousand gold to enter, like, this event, you know, and everything. Like, this is not, this is not just a, a, you know, a free room. You're paying, you're, like, these people are paying gold and just conceding. It's weird. We are on the draw. We have Revitalize and Search for Scanto, which are amazing cards, but I'm still going to go ahead and mulligan this. I think it's just a little too risky. I liked our 7-card hand much, much better. We're going down to 5. Good news is um, our opponent uh, is at 5 cards as well. Let's see. We're going to take the land. Gotcha, Stemic. Okay. You had a bunch of uncastables. I got gotcha. you. Well, that makes sense to concede then. Because you knew that we were going to be able to uh, Ritual of Sit the next turn with the card minus, get the Black Source Ritual of Sit, and you'd be even farther away from casting your spells. Yep, had the double Black with Karn. All right, we'll keep this absorb up here. So maybe another mono red. 
Uh, hmm. I'll just let them have land of war elf. We'll just counter the next thing. That's something to counter. Hmm. That would have been really nice to hit a wrath like a cry of the Carnarium here. Get rid of these Landwar Elves. Nope. That's true, I can kill elves with Kaya. That's true. So I could play Kaya, kill an elf, and play a search for Escanta? Yeah, I guess so. I like a good fight. Because then they play something big, and I play Teferi and tuck the big thing. And then maybe they kill Teferi, and then I have a new Teferi for the next thing. Yeah, see, there's the big thing. I mean, tuck that with the fairy. Well done. Look to see me no more. Could also just find a wrath effect. Ugh. I can no longer stand by, not so fast. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Oh no! I should have played Els Elsher Born a turn earlier. This is weird. I mean, getting phoenixes out of their graveyard is good. Getting rid of the Llanowar Elf is good. We're at... How many cards do we have in our... We have four cards over here. Hmm. So I think like what I'm gonna do with that, uh, all I would do with the um, Kaya there is play Kaya, exile the elf, Phoenix kills Kaya. So I'm basically just playing, like getting a spell that just gets rid of an elf there. And I, I don't know if that's really the best. I feel like we could do better than that, than just a removal spell for an elf. Hellkite is scary. Teferi Phoenix. And then next turn we can Elvis Reborn with the, the Phoenix out of here. I can like Teferi tick up and draw a card and then act also activate Escanta. But then they have all those things out there. Yeah, I know they have a haste dragon coming. This is tough. I mean, the land off kills Teferi anyway. Teferi would go down to one if we... If we minus. Teferi up 100%. I actually kind of like Teferi up, also. Saves us life and just gets us more cards. 
If you would recommend one Trust controller me. mid-range deck, what You'll would it be? Yeah, it is really Let's hard to tell right now with um, with like the set being so new. Honestly, um, the thing about mid-range and control decks, especially control decks, um, you kind of need time for control decks because you need like like the meta game to kind of um, to to settle down and like the the better decks to kind of emerge and so you know what you want to um build your control deck to try to beat and you know you know like the different angles that people are attacking from this is hardly my worst defeat All right, so I can just Wrath and Contempt. That's pretty awesome. We can just Contempt this Phoenix. Get out of there for good. Go ahead and Wrath. Yeah, you're, you said you're playing Grixis. That's that's the thing. I don't know if Grixis is, is going to be very good. I, I don't know if you can play Grixis right now because of how because of how important enchantments are uh, with this last set. Um, yeah, Grixis could just, could honestly be kind of tough. So because of, because of Escanta, we're going to have tons of cards here. So I'm just going to take Absorb for the, the Counterspell, because we're going to have enough cards. Um, so I think the Counterspell gain three is better than getting like a Karn or a Sphinx's insight that just gets more cards in this scenario. Um, so another settle, even though it's not good against Spellbreaker. Get these Ritual of Sets in there. And then Powers comes out. One, actually, actually I'm just taking out Reborn completely because of Phoenix. Yeah. And we're just going to make that change. Don't love Devious Cover-Up, but I don't hate it either. What could Devious Cover-Up turn into? Thought Erasure? I think I'd rather have Thought Erasure in this matchup. Yeah, I don't love Dovin either in this matchup. Yeah, let's let's play three Thought Erasure, get rid of a Dovin also. And uh call it a day. We have Kaya still in the deck for the elves, and there's one we have one cry in there right now. I don't love Eldritch Reborn. You know, Eldritch Reborn making them sacrifice like a Land War Elf isn't very good. If they have Rekindling Phoenix, it's not good. And it costs so much mana. So expensive. That's strong. Rhythm on turn two on the play. That's what Rhythm's good against. Rhythm is really good against these these control decks. What matchup do you like emergency powers for? I don't know, honestly. All right, Ritual of Six. Where are you at? No, I haven't tried making persistent partitioner work. All right, or Kaya's Wrath, or Ritual of Sets. We need, need a Wrath effect. We have a lot of, but we certainly need one here.
Sinks Insight's not going to save us. This is a good first four turns for the opponent. Turn one elf, turn two rhythm. Turn two double guardian, turn three spell, or turn four those. Very, very good curve. Yep. So I play Karn and I minus and I can block one thing and I am very dead. Um. Hmm. Yeah, great draw. Chamber Guardian is is insane. That card is incredibly good. Hmm. I need to draw some lands, but I like having Thought Erasure on two and then Absorb maybe on three. Yeah, Mortify... Not having Mortify to... like. Honestly, we just don't have very many ways to deal with enchantments with this deck um, in, our, in our 75. Mortify would certainly be a really good card to have access to to, to be able to, to destroy enchantments. All right, we need a land drop. Yep. Those are all like great cards against control. That's what Gruel does after sideboarding. Gruel can really defeat control. I guess I'm just taking the Growth Chamber Guardian. Alright, land's a great draw. <clears throat> so now we can have Absorb available for the Rhythm of the Wild. Keep on drawing land. Come on, one more. One more. Ugh, tap land. Alright, Kaya, go do your thing. <laughs> I like a good fight. Notice I was as good you. Now it's dearly departed. Well, if we take Cinder Vines, they would just play the Growth Chamber or Guardian, and I would be very dead, because then even on turn three, they could just activate Growth Chamber Guardian, and I just have no response to that. Really? They're just letting me exile that? Burying them just isn't good enough. Huh. Interesting. I think I'm just gonna insight. If I play, I could play Teferi and tick up. Um, then it just gets hit by the Hellkite. Or this way I can Teferi minus and get rid of the Hellkite. You know, Kaya actually did something. <laughs> Crafting for Kaya right now. <laughs> One. This time. We actually had Kaya do something. Um. Yeah, it's just it's just gonna be playing insight. Uh, who don't mech donate this deck? All right, so 
can contempt something. Teferi, tick up. Right, hold that On top of a couple lands. Contempt the Hellkite. This is a lot of damage. Hmm. Do I want to Chemistry's Insight? Here. Let's look for Kaya's Wrath or Cleansing Nova. We got a lot of those. Tilt. Now what? Um. This Nexus. The Cinder Vines has just been killing me. Yeah, draw a card and make a land drop. That's what the Nexus was. I won't hide from the You know what? Kaya's I'm Wrath. Not done yet. Oh, not Kaya! I want Kaya's Wrath. Kaya, you're killing me. Get out of here, Carnage Tyrant. Get on out of here. Get out of here. We're almost dead, but not dead yet. So I'm going to have Teferi tuck the Cinder Vines, cast Cleansing Nova, cast Kaya, gain two life. All right, they bricked. So tuck this Cinder Vine, which this is also kind of the problem with Cinder Vine is it's not going to be a very good draw later. Let's take it back. Yeah, the game stutters after just, just like when you have it uh, on for a few hours. So just restarting the game client can help with that. Yeah, and just in case our opponent draws a haste threat, I think we need to exile some stuff Ooh, and gain some life. We'll get rid of Thrash and Carnage Tyrant. You're not welcome here anymore. Even though I'd like to play Karn and start getting the card advantage in. We need to move quickly. So Kaya's exile up to t up to two, right? Yeah. So I can just exile one creature right now, and wait till next turn to exile the other. Buddy, that's what I do. Until you have lived as it's well chosen. Um. I know I could play the new Karn and. But if I play New Karn and get the uh, get the next of fate, I wouldn't have the mana to activate it. I can also feel the ruin them and make them shuffle so they don't draw Cinder Vines. But at this point, it doesn't matter too much. 
I'm going to be able to just, I was going to crack Memorial to Folly there and draw two cards. All right, we went 5-0. and 5-0 oh. oh with Esper Super Friends. Kaya doing some stuff there. Kaya gained us life, exiled the token. Alien Toy Shop did call it 5-0. Oh. So yeah, Mechanical, thank you so much for that donation deck there. Let's claim our prize. All right, we got a rare that I already had, so we got 20 gems. Um, some uncommon, and the other rares are a Vivian's Invocation. Wrong Vivian. Okay. So, yeah, impressive. Um, the life gain was certainly really relevant. You know, like, we gained a lot of life that, that game. Like, we gained life, for, you know, because you saw we were at, like, we went down to three, and we had gained life from, like, Absorb Countering something, and Kaya, and Insight, and Contempt. Um, so that's like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, I know we had gained at least nine life by the time we were at three. At least. I don't remember if we played anything else that gained life. Maybe a revitalizer or something like that. Um, no, the, the gold's the exact same for, for before. It was 21 and it's five wins. Um, thoughts on changes? Um, Kaya's Wrath kind of weird only playing two of those that cards are really good uh i didn't really like the devious cover up um and i'll uh, and not so sure about eldest reborn devious cover up eldest reborn emergency powers you know i just sideboard it out all the time i can't i can't really like i don't really see this being worth it as like a card but uh yeah, the, the insight was good. The absorbs were very good, so it was revitalized. Just that life gain kind of thing. Cover-up's basically Nexus of Fate Hate. Okay. Okay, you only have two Kai's Wrath. Devious was for infinite loop before I added Nexus. So maybe those could go for more absorb, maybe. Yeah, I would rather have absorb than Devious cover-up. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not thrilled with the red splash here, but... I don't know. It was, a, it was a fun deck to play. All right. If you're watching this over on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.